Welcome folks. Uh, what I have for you today is um, I was thinking about telling you a little bit of what I experienced not too long ago um, and what I'm actually going to do is you might have seen my other videos and uh, you notice I did a lot of a lot of videos on spark plugs and ignition system parts like ignition coils and such. Uh, what I have here is uh, it's not the actual plug and it was a spark plug it was out of a uh, 90, 1995 uh, General Motors or Chevy V6 uh, 4.3 liter or 262 cubic inch and this is basically what what happened is um, I was having a bit of an issue with uh, both cold and, and hot running when it was um, down at idle speed kind of misfire so I went through the whole thing and you know the distributor cap the rotor um, the plugs the wires everything was changed within about the, the last year or so so uh, I couldn't really see any problems with that after I did a visual inspection and everything and tested things with the ohmmeter. But this is basically what the spark, this isn't the actual spark plug, but this spark plug here is pretty much what they look like. I pulled the six of them out there and had a, a look at them to read them and they actually look similar to this. Um, there was no big carbon build up or anything so that the plugs appeared to be uh, firing okay and uh, the thing, the engine would run great once you got above idle. Um, down the highway, city speed, it would just the engine would run strong, no problems at all, no misfire. But the plug looked okay. So then I started thinking about um, after having the oxygen sensor out of it, and this isn't the one that I'll be showing you um, in a few minutes. I have another one rather I'll be showing you in a few minutes. This one was actually one I used in another video, and I uh, I cooked this tip here with a propane torch, and that's the deposit that you actually see on this uh, covering around the actual sensor element that's inside this oxygen sensor. This particular vehicle, um, it just uses a one oxygen sensor um, pre-cat, or in other words, uh, one oxygen sensor just before the catalytic converter. But this is the deposit, um, actually I'll back up a bit. What I'm trying to show you here is the correlation between deposits on spark plugs and maybe what they might look like on an oxygen sensor as they're um, the exhaust stream is passing past the oxygen sensor tip while it's in the exhaust system inside the pipe. So like I say this is the kind of deposit it looks kind of like a white ash kind of thing and it was done with a propane torch in one of my previous videos. And I'm kind of thinking that most oxygen sensors shouldn't be very dark in color if the engine's running and performing properly and doing its thing. But this is just a, a starter example that I'm going to show you here just so the next oxygen sensor I bring up is actually in the vehicle and uh, where the comparison between the spark plug deposits and that the oxygen sensor are going to really open your eyes. Okay, so this is what it looked like cooked in a propane torch. And like I was saying, the engine ran fine, except it was kind of like misfiring a bit at idle in low speed. Not even low speed, really. It's once, once uh, the thing came back to idle, either hot or cold, it would seem to stumble a bit. It would never stall or anything, but now here's this... Um, oxygen sensor I pulled out with spark plugs looking like this. There's no carbon fouling or anything on the plugs. But now if you look at this oxygen sensor, um, you can see how carboned up it is. I mean, um, I'll actually hold it up, if I can hold it steady enough, that is, and um, show you how much carbon buildup is on this thing. I'll use my hand as a background here so it's got some contrast. Rotate it a bit, and you can see the carbon that's on that. Hopefully the video um, camera will pick it up. But it's just covered in black carbon. And also if it's, uh, it can help you too just by looking at the tailpipe of your vehicle. Even though it's got a catalytic converter that can burn somewhat of the uh, stuff that's going through it. If your exhaust uh, pipe inside where it exits the vehicle near the rear of the vehicle um, is all covered in carbon, that's, that's a clue for you, a visual clue that something's not running the way it should be. It's running a bit on the rich side. but. Now here's what I came up with. Seeing how the spark plugs were all pretty clean, probably even cleaner than this example I have here, um, it led me to believe that I probably had a misfire, whether it was ignition related or uh, fuel injector related. Um, the thing is, is the plugs were all burning clean, and uh, the deposits on here are horrendous, as you can see here now. So the next thing I got to do there is do a fuel pressure check on it to make sure that the fuel pressure that the the fuel system is supplying the, the singular fuel injector with, being it's got the six poppet nozzles that go on it with a single central um, fuel injector. Make sure the fuel pressure is right for starters and then uh, like a, oh, another thing I should mention too, and it's OBD1 or onboard diagnostics one 
computer system. Uh, I did the, uh, the code check on it. No trouble codes coming up whatsoever. So if you're familiar with the, the OBD1, then you'll know what I mean. It's kind of vague as compared to 96 and newer, which had the uh, OBD2 or onboard diagnostics version 2. With uh, It'll tell you just about everything you want to know about your vehicle when there's a problem with it. But being OBD1, onboard diagnostics, this, ooh, tongue tied again, onboard diagnostics version 1, it doesn't tell you much with the computer um, trouble code readouts that you get with the flashing lights on the dash. So this is just something to help you out and uh, maybe what I would suggest is any time that uh, you remove an oxygen sensor, some vehicles have one all the way up to maybe four or more uh, post and pre-cat. So some, some vehicles generally speaking will have you know, if you have a dual exhaust system with two catalytic converters, you'll have uh, probably at least four, maybe even six. You might have a couple of um, oxygen sensors up by the uh, exhaust manifolds as well. So anytime you change one of these, or even if the mechanic or the, you know, the, uh, the shop that you're having them replaced in, ask them to give these back to you after they service your vehicle, or if you do it yourself, um, hang on to them and make a notation right down in, um, on a piece of paper and store it away somewhere nice and safe and do a visual check on this and write down the date, the time, everything with the vehicle it came out of and, and note the deposits on it and then you can go back for a, a future reference like I'm going to do here. This is all in my, my mind now probably permanently but anyways like I say the correlation between the, the way the plugs deposits look and the oxygen sensor looks. So I'll put them side by side just before I sign off here and you can see Mind you, this is a propane torch that um, that was burning this one here. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure most that do come out aren't going to be all black, covered in black carbon like this one is. You see, I just got a bit on my finger there. It's, it's just solid, solid carbon. You know, it's can't see any metal because of all the carbon coating on there. So that's my video for today, folks. Uh, just giving you a, a more or less free way to help diagnose any problems that you have, especially concerning an onboard diagnostics uh, one version computer system in your car. Um, if you have the OBD2, like I say, 96 and newer, generally speaking, it'll it'll probably tell you what's wrong with the you know the, the higher low reading or, or something malfunctioning with the oxygen sensors. But OBD1 is very very vague. Um, so that's about it. All I have to say to you for now in this video for today is just keep an eye on your plugs, um, how the deposits look, write down how many miles or kilometers you have on that thing, uh, both on the spark plugs themselves as a set and also with any oxygen sensors that are installed in your vehicle. If you keep notes, um, you can always refer back to them. If you try to just use go by memory as the years pass by, you're going to find that uh, you're going to forget a few things. Okay. So just a little forewarning for you to help you out a little bit. So there you have it for today, folks. Oxygen sensor deposits versus spark plug deposits in the same vehicle. So have yourself a good day. And uh, bye for now.